I'm your host, Christian Ettinger. You are at Hopworks Urban Brewery. We're getting ready to go on a virtual tour. Please join me. Here at Hopworks, we're carrying on an ancient tradition of making beer from all natural ingredients. Water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. 9,000 years ago, the Ice Age receded and allowed all these ingredients to flourish, and we're using them to make delicious beer, 20 barrels at a time on our system behind me. Let's take a look. Brewing beer is simple and hard all at the same time. I love it because it's the perfect marriage of art and science. Here's where the first two ingredients come together. We mill this wonderful Oregon grown barley and we wet it in the mash tun and start to convert the wonderful starches to sugars. Here's an example of us extracting the sugars from the mash through the process called sparging. The sparging will wash the sugars from the mash tun into the kettle where we'll boil them with hops. Let's take a look. When we get this thing filled, we'll boil it for 90 minutes and we're gonna basically sterilize all that wort sugar and extract the oils and the resins from the hops. The resins are gonna give you the bitterness, the oils are gonna give you the awesome fruity aroma that all wonderful beers, especially IPAs, are known for. Then we're gonna feed it to the yeast. That's where the real magic happens. Hear the flames, feel the heat. The beer is gonna boil soon, ha <laughs> ha. Let's go check out the fermentation area. When we pitch the yeast into this sugar rich elixir called wort, it begins to bubble furiously for about three days and then starts to settle out for about three days. After which we may or may not dry hop it and then we're gonna chill it. During the process, the yeast are converting all that sugar the carbon in the sugar into carbon in the alcohol. That's when the fun starts. So we got to thank our lucky stars for healthy yeast and that metabolic pathway that produces the alcohol we love. As craft brewers, we go the extra mile to be sustainable. We're a B Corp. We like to source organic, local, and salmon safe hops and barley. In addition, we really try and operate efficiently and manage our waste stream through robust recycling and compost programs. So cheers to green beer. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out our green beer video on our YouTube channel. After fermentation is complete and all that alcohol has been generated, we need to filter the yeast and the hops out of the beer. This unit behind me is our centrifuge. We send the beer on a 7,000 RPM merry-go-round that strips the yeast out and the hops and sends that really clean, flavorful, rich beer flavor all the way through to the finishing tank in the cellar where we're gonna carbonate it. All right, everybody, we've reached my favorite part. The beer is in the bright tank. It's been carbonated. We got 2.4 pints of CO2 in every pint of beer coming out of this here swickle. The reason we all came here is not to talk about these shiny tanks, it's to get the beer out of the swickle into our glasses. So let's do that. This is a nice little pigtail, the pressure drops evenly, and I get a killer pour every time. Grabbing a beer off the swickle is my favorite way to drink beer here at Hopworks Brewery. Beer can also leave these tanks in kegs, bottles, and cans. Our cans are distributed all over the West Coast, and it is an awesome way to drink beer. Let's go check out that rotary canning line and I can show you how it works. All right, everybody, we've reached the last part of our tour, my favorite part of the tour, the canning line. This thing's kicking out 60 cans a minute of delicious beer five days a week, just for you, heading straight from here to the grocery store. We only brew beer to order, so it's time for me to show you how we get all this fresh beer in the can. Follow me. Now it gets a little splashy down here in the candy line. We've got a depalletizer that's taking these pallets of cans and shaving them down to a single layer. These layers above me here are now going through the twist rinser where the inside of the can is rinsed and then the water's collected in a reservoir here. We then recycle that water and rinse the outside of the cans with it. 
cruise this way and we'll show you how we get all this delicious beer in those silly little cans. This is an eight head rotary filler. Again, spinning 60 cans a minute. The cans presented and sealed. The beautiful part about this canning line is that we fill the cans in a counter pressure environment and it's sealed to prevent air from getting the beer. That means you get the freshest beer possible. This thing's spinning around and ejecting the cans with a nice little heap of foam. Then you can see that this seamer here, single head seamer, drops the lid right on the end of the beer can, seals it tight where no, absolutely no air can get in there. We rinse it with that recycled water. We dry it, date coat it. We flip them right side up. And then just so you get your lion's share of beer, we x-ray them for fill level. If this thing is even one milliliter low, it'll kick it out here and reject it. So only a few rejects for a whole day's run. As the cans are coming through, we have an option of labeling them for our seasonals. But this is our new Juicy Bear seasonal. Look at how delicious and fresh that is. The final step is we put a Pack Tech six pack holder on it, four of those per case. Those Pack Techs are made in Eugene, Oregon out of recycled material. There's a really cool sustainable story for those. Thanks so much for going on the tour with me. We'll see you next time. Juicy Bear here. Just thanking you for going on a wonderful brewery tour with us here at Hopworks. Now some of my friends ask, hey Juicy Bear, does a bear drink beer in the woods? And to them, I say, you're goddamn right I do.